Welcome to the channel everybody. This is Hardware Despair. My name is Ryan and today we are playing Card Survival Tropical Island. Let's do it. And we are in some desperate straits here people. So we are very low on water. I got a couple of glazed vases out here. Now I had someone comment and tell me a brilliant, brilliant thing, which is that if you're inside a cave or they also said your shelter and you start the stove up. So let's get the stove a going. If we, oh my God, I just noticed my hand drill just broke. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm, I've got one. I'm going to actually take it out of my bag here and drop it real quick. There it is. Yeah. Let's drop that on the ground. We'll leave that here. Anyway, so now we got the fire going. So what this does is it creates, I guess, humidity in the air. And so it will condense on the walls, I suppose. And you can get water if you just leave open lidded vessels in here. So for instance, the water in this jug, now that the fire is lit, should increase. So it's at 74%. Let's make sure there's two of them there. Actually, one's at 93, one's at Oh, I just filled one of them up. Okay, so one's at 100, one's at 67. All right, very good. I wish I could manually split those, but that's okay. No worries. Now, these I don't think will work. Well, that's oil, but the cooking pots have lids. So, yeah, what I think I'll do is let's go ahead and, first of all, let me check my wound. 13%. Let me just apply that. There you go. All right, now, yeah, let's go grab those open-ended vases here. Where were they? Let's see here. So I want to test this theory for sure. Yeah, I don't think the glazed vase will work, though, because it's got a lid. But correct me if I'm wrong, please. We'll see how this goes. So 67% and 0%, essentially. Let's drop that guy on the fire real quick. All right, so we got our bow drill here now. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, okay. So someone said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to uh, work on the skin a little bit, which is so helpful. Thank you. I almost let it rot away, didn't I? So, yeah, we've got... Yeah, well, crap, he's tired. Let's see if he can't just push it a little bit. It's only an hour's worth of work. Oh, did our stuff burn? No, we're okay. I'm going to let that smoke. Let's see, how's his food? Uh, we could eat, but we could also wait a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare the skin. That's probably what happened to the previous ones. I forgot about the step of scraping them. And so instead of drying, they just rotted away. Boo. But anyway, at least it'll get us through these two recipes onto the next set of the uh, recipe. Actually, it'll finish this one off, which will be awesome. We need some shoes. but um, So this will be a while. This needs to count down from 99%, obviously. It's getting late, guys. I'm going to go ahead and head to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. So I did sleep with the fire going. I was wanting to test the water thing, and I kind of forgot about the fish. But it turns out once you've smoked it, it's not going to burn. So you can just do that overnight. It's just really cool. I wasn't sure about that. As there were a couple nights where I stayed up real late waiting for my food to smoke, so I wouldn't like burn it. But it doesn't work. Or it won't happen. won't burn. So no worries. Now, let's see here. Let's test our water cycle. It was at 67. Oh, see, it's gone down. 67 to 63 so what that means is it either doesn't work here that one's gone down too from 196 percent we're gonna have to drink most of this so what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna test it in the cave it could just be that they were talking the the commenter was referring just to the cave only so or maybe if you have like a mud shack or something this this grass palm leaf shack probably isn't going to get condensation on it so let's go ahead and extinguish that fire it is bright and early in the morning actually it's bright or it's dark and early in the morning i'm going to go ahead and eat Ooh, this macaw meat's at 39 percent boys and girls yikes now i did get another comment um telling me that there's uh, a tree you can get water from in the mangrove forest if we explore that enough so that's pretty helpful too i appreciate that a lot all right, so that one's still got water. Let's let's head to the uh, wetlands and check the cave. Oh, look, the deadfall trap is triggered. So I've been disassembling these deadfalls because they're really not very good. I think, though, we're going to switch over to, to some snare traps. Yeah, that'll be the way. So let's see. Trap. Boop, boop, boop. There it is. Um, we also want to try that fish trap here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a couple of these blueprints up here. Yeah. Very good. All right. So, wait a second. Oh, wait. That stole my knife. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I got to get these cords and take care of these. Okay. There we go. I've got two more snare traps built. Now, I don't think I... Oh, yeah. I do have one. at least one thing I can put in there. 
So yeah, I feel like these are much more effective than the heavy stone or the these things, the deadfall traps. Uh, but, but, but anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm sticking with it. So like I said, wetlands, here we come. All right, well, I've got the uh, fire going. Campfire is lit. Now, uh, the two vases are in here. I've also brought a bunch of coconut shells in here. How's this food doing? Despite the fact that he shows he's feeling down and it looks really low, this is actually high compared to what we've been at. So I'm really happy with where our uh, depression level, I guess that's what we'll call it. I'm really happy with where that's at, come, to be honest. So... While we're in here, I'm going to wash myself. That, that should cool me off. This is unsafe water, though. So, again, we're testing the theory to see if condensation will collect on the, the cave walls and fill up these vases and coconut shells here. So, I'm going to leave this for a while. Well, I could spend some time harvesting snake grass or maybe experimenting with the ginger plant. Or we could head into the deep jungle while we wait for the condensation on the cave walls. Let's do that instead. Let's see. Okay, I don't think I've explored this at all. Nope, zero percent. Oh, wow. It's pretty similar to the jungle. But uh, let's see. Let's just see what we get here. Now, I did say at one point, I remember reading that walks like this should increase the happiness. Like, it's they enjoy it? I don't know. Maybe that's not what they were talking about. But it's definitely increasing his tiredness. So I think we, we can easily rest for an hour. I set that fire so it had like 60 or 70% fuel. Tell you what, we'll explore one. Oh, oh, the kava. Yes, the kava's awesome. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to harvest this. But well, maybe I'll do one. Yeah, well, oh, it did disappear the whole thing. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad we got that. I'm going to process this. I'd love to find some water here, but let's go back to the wetlands. Because I can cool off in the puddle. Yeah, we can cool off through it. Almost drank it. Let's uh, wash ourselves. Now, how are we doing food-wise? I don't even see it, so we're probably fine. Let's uh, let's go in the cave real quick. I just want to check and see what's up here. Make sure the fire's still burning. Okay, okay. Now, there's no water in here. See, that's the problem. I was thinking maybe you have to start with a little bit of water first. If I do that... That's at 13%. Okay. There's still water in this. See what I'm saying? If I put a little water in these clay jars, 13 and 13, maybe that will cause it to, uh, you know, condensate and collect. We'll see. Now they're both at 13%. There's two of them there, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to leave again. And let's see. What can we do? We can crush up the kava just to get that ready. I don't have any water bowls or anything right now. Plus, we don't really need this necessarily, except we I, maybe I will use it to boost my mood because it literally says that. It improves my mood as well as help against pain and fever. So we're going to put that in some water. In fact, um, let me drop that in my bag. What bag should we put it in? Ah, so we have our splint, our aloe gel. Oh, I've got three cords in there. Come on, Kava. I want both of you in there. Now, let's see. How's this wound doing? 19 yep let's let's put more on there it's almost healed but no reason to risk it plus that uh that uh um, aloe vera is probably not going to last very long it goes bad pretty quickly all right so hmm, it's still fairly early i got an idea let's go fishing all right here we are at the bay i forgot i set these things up because i want to do a shelter I, I honestly i don't even think i'm gonna waste my time with that what i really want to do here is build a structure I'm thinking, let's cancel these. I know I came to do some fishing, and we will, but I'm going to cancel those, and I'm going to set up, where is it? Let's get something really ambitious like the mud hut. Yeah. Oh, my God. Five logs? Oh, wow. So I've got, can I even do that here? I don't even know. I'm going to leave it, though. Five logs. That's huge. How many steps is it? Jesus. Look how many steps that is. One, two, three, four four, five, six, nine. Wow. That's a nine step thing. And probably every bit of the resources we need does not, is not located here at the bay. But imagine if we could get this mud hut built uh, on the bay, that would be, that would be really, really helpful because this place is so good for like just making this guy happy and cooling down and stuff. He loves fishing. 
Now, I imagine other characters, like if you play as the mermaid or something, although mermaids probably would want to live by the sea. I don't know. But maybe they don't, you know? It could be different for each playthrough. All right, see, we're very hot, so I'm just going to wash myself. Diving is also fun and enjoyable and cooling, but it takes a little bit of effort. It's kind of strenuous. And we're just here for a relaxing day of fishing. A couple hours here, there. Speculate on building a mud hut. All right, how we doing? How we doing? Still feeling lonely. Can't do much about that, buddy. All right, we don't have anything here. I'll just grab the stone. Whoops, whoops. Actually, you know what? I want the sand more than anything else. I'll go ahead and take the stone. All right, that's good. Now, let's head home. Okay, we'll check this out. We are in the cave. Where's the water? Oh. Wait a second. We had two of them. One of they were both at 13%, right? What the heck's going on here? <laughs> okay, now we got one that's at 24%. At first I thought it must have filled it up. But there's that. Okay, I've got the water in there now. I wish I could split it more than that instead of dumping like the whole thing in there. Mm. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to I'm going to test it now. 20 Okay, so we have one vase in here, 24%. I'm not going crazy. We're going to leave this a little while longer. It's a 50. It's got plenty of fuel. So this is a good fire. How's our wound? It's almost healed. Hopefully once that we are finally totally uninjured, his sanity and stuff will be a lot better. So anyway, here's a log. I can carry this. Look at that. <gasps> but we're very encumbered. It'll take 45 minutes. Should I start working on it? And here's the question. Like, I assume I get the logs from like the tree here. Now, the real question I have is, I would if I'm going to be cutting down whole trees, this stone axe isn't the best. What I need is this flint. And I know for a fact it looks very simple on the first stage, but the second stage requires you to get flint. And I don't know where that's at. Although I have a suspicion that the flint is going to be somewhere up here in the jungle highlands. I don't know what that's not really based on anything except that I expect the highlands to be kind of a rocky mountainous area. So I did get a tip. Someone commented, maybe I should practice my climbing on uh, like, a, I don't think we can do it on this tree. No, if we go to the bay again, we can probably climb on some palm trees, practice our climbing. Actually, no, I can do it right here. Yeah, let's train. How are we doing heat wise? Okay, we're very hot. Let's go Let's go wash off. And I'm going to train climbing a little bit because we. I have a feeling. I don't know, but I think that's where we're going to find some flint. Wow. Well, this training, we're at 63%. It really, it's not that effective. <laughs> you don't get a lot from each training. Oh, the wound's healed. All right, so we're just resting. I'm going to train. Actually, let's pop inside and check the, the fire and check our water. So what were we at? 20, oh, see, it's gone down. So it was at 24. Now it's gone down one. I mean, maybe I need to leave it longer, but I have a feeling it's just going to go down more. So for whatever reason, unless I'm doing something wrong, it doesn't seem to be working for me. I'm just going to leave that. I am going to take my water, though. Take those. I, You know what? Thinking about it, I should probably fill these up. Yeah. Let's, oh. Puddle's dry. Whoopsie. Uh, no worries. We'll just do it out here because I think there's still more water. Yeah, in this area. We're going to need to boil it too, obviously. But I'm at that point now where it's starting to become pretty critical for me to get this water. Oh, uh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's go back to the old shed before nightfall. And yeah, we'll boil up some water. Okay, well, I've got some water on the fire. It's not going to take long. 20... Why is this empty? What? Did I... What? I dropped the wrong thing? Okay, we've got the two waters right there. Pour that in there. All right, we're good. I'm not sure what happened to this clay vase, but... Man, I'm freaking out here. Anyway, let's go back out here. I'm going to... Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and fill up the water from this reservoir. We're going to take that. Yeah, we'll put that inside. Leaves a tiny little bit, but we'll put that inside. We're going to need it. I'll just leave the clay vase out here. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe we'll get lucky. Although I have a feeling we're in the dry season right now. So what I need to do is, other than find water, 
I need to get some palm leaves from my roof because when I came back into the shed, it said it was damaged. So hold on, actually, I think there was a palm tree, wasn't there? Yeah, small palm tree. So let's grab our ax. I'm gonna need this. Yes, all right, now we're heading back in. We've got to do a little bit of repairing. I should probably also clean this place a little bit. Uh, unsafe, ready in six minutes. Okay, let's see, how long does this take? One hour, all right, we just gotta wait on that. Maybe I can clean, clean while I wait for my water. Where's my broom at? There it is. That's a 30 minute. It's pushing it. Okay, we got boiling water. We're good to go. We're good to go. Now, I don't need that anymore. We don't have any meat, believe it or not. And, we, well, not nothing to cook. I'm pretty sure I've got, besides this fish, obviously I've still got a bunch of the flour. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've got still got a ton of flour. Let's grab one of these. Might use this for my mood, you know. So let's grab a little bit of water. Why do I have a long stick on me? Oh, also I can get this repair done work. Let's go. There we go. Very good. Now, let me get some kava set up. Okay, well we've got our kava set up. It's getting kind of late. I think what I'm going to do is actually break open a coconut. Uh, we might need to go to the bay tomorrow anyway, not just for relaxation, but to maybe train a little climbing and to also get some more coconuts. We're getting kind of low. It's good to have these too, because he gets tired of eating meat so much. So anyway, we got some coconut water. Let's get a drink of that, because he's pretty thirsty. Let's drink that up. Ah, that kava will make us feel a little bit better. Yeah, we won't feel so depressed and stuff. Plus, it does help with our uh, with our water. Very good. We got some cooked straps. I'm actually tempted. I'm going to duck outside and put those in our traps real quick. Yeah, these traps are sitting here bare. So that's not good. All right, here we go. Let's pray it rains tonight, right, guys? Uh, anyway, I'll probably cut this open for the morning. Oh, it's too dark. Okay, well, we're just going to bed then. Okay, good morning, everybody. So let's take some drinks here because we're very thirsty right now. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this coconut meat. That'll help us out for the breakfast. All right, drink. And wow, we're getting going through this water like crazy. Yeah, I'm just going to fill them up. There we go. Okay, these clay jars. I need to take those, take the vase. Because we got to get serious about this water here, folks. We're very hot. Well, we're just hot. I shouldn't say very. Because that's not true. We're not very hot. Okay, uh, let's see here. We've got... Oh, even some of our reservoir has evaporated away, so that's painful. That's painful to see. So we've got the clay vase here. Man, oh man, uh, we're going to have to go to the wetlands. Grab up whatever is left in these puddles here, which is a decent amount, but it's not going to last forever because these don't refill unless it rains. All right, that's 100%. Boom. Boom. I feel like I should have more. Didn't I have another pot there? Why didn't I bring that? Oh, it's still got water in it. That's right. All right, so we're good. We're good. What should I collect here? Anything else? I could get some bananas. I could get some bananas. Yeah, we'll take five of those. That's handy. That's handy. Actually, you know what else? Give me some of this snake grass. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get that home. We're carrying a lot. <laughs> Hold on. Can we even make it home? Like, I'm sure we can, but is it going to take... Ah. Hour and 15. All right, snake grass, you got to wait here. We'll come back for you there, buddy. There is just something about the western grasslands that really intrigues me. So I decided to, oh, look, eastern grasslands. Oh, and we got ourselves a goat. That's huge. Yes, 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 yes. Um, let's spear it. Darn, was it? Oh, that's okay. So it escaped. No problem. But there's something about this area I just love. I really think, in a, maybe in a future playthrough, or still maybe in this one, if we continue to do well, I'm going to build something here for sure. Maybe a farm set up, because there's some decent stuff here. Those ch the chili plant for one, that's critical in uh, one of the recipes at least that I have. I should probably grab it. I don't know how long the chilies will last though. Man, I tell you, chilies in real life actually do last for a while. All right, we'll do one little, one little test just to see. Boosted our herbology as well, so that's nice. Anyway, it is getting kind of towards noon. We're getting hot. The problem is there's no water. See, so I was hoping to find some water here, but I have not found, like, really any good sources of it. I guess we can continue to explore for a little bit. Let's eat a banana. Let's just keep going. Uh, see, we're getting good stuff. 
like I'm probably going to take those dried leaves and I know manure is pretty important for like farming. So that's what I'm thinking. This area is definitely a farm, but if there's no water source here, that's going to make farming very difficult. You know what I'm saying? So that's my hope is that this is like a green, nice green plush area. Let's keep going. Mm, more good stuff. Not what I need. Oh, he's starting to get tired and overheated. All right, let's go. Let's go back home. Yeah, we're gonna have to rest. Let's pop inside here and just. I wish we could have got that goat, man. Oh, that would have been awesome. But no worries. I'm gonna spend a little time in here, I guess, processing these almonds. There we go. I bet you the almonds will last for a while. Who knows, though? It's hard to say. Ground cob is at 85%. I'm gonna drop those in there. Now the chilies. I guess I'll just drop those on the ground. Beautiful. We've got some unsafe water here. I'm going to wait. We just needed to cool off a little bit and come in here. So I'm not going to boil this up just yet. I'll probably wait and see if we can't catch something for dinner. Maybe we can go down to the bay. That'll help him cool off a little bit. Let me see here. There's no rotten food or anything like that. Nothing in the snare traps just yet. Yeah, let's do some fishing. Okay, well, I did say also maybe we should go ahead and get some co coconuts. Very nice, very nice. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, we might, uh, we'll, we'll train climbing another time. Now that I know I can actually train it on that card back at the wetlands, it's not really important to do it here. This place is more just about fishing and coconuts. Ooh, there we go. No luck, no worries, though, no worries. Let's, uh, let's actually wash ourselves, cool down a little bit, even better. Now he's getting thirsty, so let me go ahead and husk a coconut. Yeah, beautiful. Drinky, drinky. You better believe we're taking that husk with us, too. All right, let's go. Fishing time. Mm. Oh, it's getting a little late. We can do it one more time. Not a problem. Not a care in the world do we have. If we're fishing, we're, we're just in love with life, I'll tell you that. Oh, we got something, too, boys and girls. What did I tell you about these snare traps? Look at that. First time it springs, it's got a mouse. Ooh, it's got a mouse. Gross. <laughs> We're going to eat it, though. You better believe that. All right, let me drop some of this stuff into the old shed. Go ahead and drop all these in here. There we go. Let's get our mouse. And, oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, did both of them? No, no. I'm crazy. Let's rearm. Sadly, I don't have anything else to bait the traps with. We didn't. We didn't have any luck on the bay. Okay, for starters, I've got four things of water going, so we only need 18 minutes for that. I think probably I'll go ahead and husk up these coconuts. Yeah, a couple of those, and the water will be done. There we go. Beautiful. Let's take all that out there, and we're just going to leave that chilling. Now, I do want to get these coke or these uh, yams processed, so I'm going to need some water. It's kind of a waste of water, to be honest. What? Oh, that the water's empty. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? But, I mean, we're going to do it. Because I have the yam, so it'll eventually go bad. Can I pour that in there? Uh, it won't work till the water cools down. Darn it. 48 minutes. Well, you know what? I want those things to kind of cook simultaneously, so I'm going to wait. Now, where the heck did the mouse go? Seriously, straight up, where's the mouse? I swear I had it. I didn't put it in the bag. What the flip? It's just gone. <laughs> um, I, I moved it into the thing in here. Okay, it's not in the food category. Maybe it's somewhere else. Let me look for this mouse. Oh, I'm going nuts, but the mouse is just gone. It's not on the fire. Did I, did I leave it out here? Hold on, is it out here? Hmm. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, I was probably too full of stuff. That's what it is. I'm a dummy. No problem. Let's grab that. Okay, well, the mouse was delicious. I got the boiled yams finished. I'm going to sweep. Oh, it's a little too dark to sweep. All right, let's go to sleep, and we will sweep in the morning. Oh, my God. Here we go. Let's draw attention. Attack with spear. Oh, man, scared it away. Well, that made us a little happier, <laughs> scaring it away. All right, let's eat our boiled yams. They're good for us in the morning. Oh, man, those are super filling. Very good. Okay, so we are good to go. Stove. Oh, it's got a couple of coconut shells on it. Let's drop those on the ground. Like I said, I am going to clean a little bit. It makes this more sane. 
keeps the place nicer. I think hopefully it discourages, uh, you know, pests and rodents and stuff. So don't forget, worst comes to worst, we can't always open up our conch shells. I've still got a bunch of fat in here. It seems to hold out pretty well, like it's, it hasn't expired yet. And I mean, here we are again. We've got, I've got to take this stuff out and try and fill it up with water somewhere. Okay, I've got a little bit of water left in there, so that's good. Good news there, but um, yeah, we're continually having to make trips to get water like every other day. It's a pain in the butt, but I guess it's not the worst thing that could ever be, you know. I'm going to drop these uh, the food items in my bag, though. Can I put them in here, please? Yes, <laughs> we got a ton of food up in there. Hold on, how's that kava root? How's that holding up? Let me look at it. 74 percent okay I'll tell you the almonds are holding up worse than anything else we'll grab those i'll eat those a little bit later but for now i do want to take some coconut shells back there we go we'll see if we can't fill some of those up with water okay well it's not too bad i got six shells uh, i didn't want to do all of them save us a little bit of water and also i don't want to go overboard on trying to carry stuff back so bring you know this guy goes slow enough as it is but I'm thinking maybe after I drop this water off, we might come back and practice our climbing a little bit more. I think that's a good idea. I really want to get some flint. All right, I dropped the water off. I've washed myself. I'm a little tired, but we'll we'll train once, and then I'll, I'll rest, and then we'll keep training. So let's tr rest for an hour. Should be good. Probably get us hot again. Yeah, we'll wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to train again, and then we'll probably wash ourselves. Nice. Eventually here, we got, we're at 64%. Eventually here we got to try and get up there though, you know? All right, let's try it. Let's get up there. Might fail. We'll see. 15 minutes. Yep. <gasps> we did it. I'm exhausted. I should stop and rest. All right, let's rest. It's not even noon. It's going to be noon here. Okay. Beautiful. Let's rest for an hour. We still got a little food. Let's, let's cram some of those into our mouth. Wetlands cliff. Okay. This is how we get back. Uh, what did it say? Feeling confident. Oh, so we will we'll probably have success at it. All right, cool. Let's explore. <gasps> Brand new area. Oh, wow. Wood in a small tree. That's so unusual. It's okay. A large tree up here. Give me some flint, boys. Oh, a coffee bush and a mango tree. Oh, I'm loving it already. I could harvest coffee beans from here. Now, I wonder, is that like a whole process, you know, to, to get coffee beans? I'm going to rest for another hour. We're pushing it in terms of our heat. We're really pushing it. So I want to watch that. Let's explore though. Another mango. Oh, mangoes. Oh man, this is huge. Again though, no water. No water yet. Of course, it's bit, we barely scratched the surface to be fair. It's only 12%. So I really, oh, yeah, I really need to get back. I mean, it's good we left ourselves that little puddle because I can still kind of wash off here and cool off. Obviously, I'm not going to drink it, but, um, yep, 235. All right, we've got a little time, although we're exhausted. See again. Let's peek into the cave, see how it's going in here. Uh, oh, I forgot, too. I, I do forget about this water right here, and this is like a source that fills up. So let's let's take some of these with us, too. Oh, actually, all right, it doesn't. <laughs> it only holds like two coconuts worth, but, hey, that's better than no coconuts, right? All right, yeah, well, I rested for an hour, and you can see the water has refilled slightly. It's at 3% again, so that's pretty cool. I wish I could, like, set a big container under there or something. I don't know. I guess that's cool. I've also, I have explored this cave multiple times past 100%, hoping to find, like, other water sources, but there's none. All I ever find are bugs and rocks, and usually it's more bugs than rocks, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, so it's getting pretty late. There's not much else we can do here unless I want to, like, harvest some more bananas but honestly we're doing okay on food yeah small tree yeah i'm not grabbing any of that just yet let's just go to the jungle home where our nice shed is the wonderful shed all right here we are now we've got more water to process before nightfall i'm gonna eat these almonds just to get them out of here very good all right so one thing i noticed too obviously there's a source here for just for water which is really really handy of course, it'd be even more handy if I started the fire first. There we go. This bowl drill is super good. Works like faster than the other way. I think it hurts my hands less too. So that's good. Anyway, um, that's the good stuff. I should probably drink this considering we're like 
literally almost dehydrated to death. I'm going to have to just drink most of it here, but that's okay. We've got a bunch of backups. So I'm going to toss them on there. Let's see. Let's get these two unsafe ones here. What's that? All right. Well, guys, I got a little bit of water to boil up for this evening. And, of course, we're going to rinse and repeat tomorrow. No pun intended. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. If you enjoy the content, hit like and subscribe. Check the description down below for the Discord and Patreon links. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.